I'm Chris Hook, I'm Senior Director of Marketing and PR for the Radeon Technologies Group at AMD. Arc's launch, uh, super exciting for us. So, um, you know, we have up till now played in the, in the space really below kind of $250 in the consumer space, um, which really left open, um, you know, the enthusiast market. And Vega really is our triumphant return to the enthusiast uh, graphic space. So we launched several different SKUs, the, um, uh, the liquid cooled, the Vega 64 liquid cooled edition, uh, the Vega 64 air cooled edition and limited edition, which comes with that cool silver shroud. And then the, uh, the Vega 56, which will be the king graphics card under $400. We're gonna be, we're gonna give the press just enough time to review them and then we'll, uh, we'll have those on shelf, we hope, on August 14th. Part of the reason that it's taken us a little longer to, uh, to, to launch Vega, and I'll be, I'll be honest about that, is that we wanted to make sure that we're launching with, uh, with good volume. And I, I think that uh, where we are, and obviously we've got to compensate for things like, you know, coin miners are going to want to get their hands on these. So um, we're, we've, we believe that we're launching with a volume that will ensure that gamers can get their hands on them, and that's what's important to us. Um, the Nano is a 150 watt part, that's TGP, so GPU and memory. Uh, it goes up from there. The, um, uh, the, the Vega 56 is 165 TGP. The um, Vega 64 is 220 TGP. And then the liquid cooled is kind of in the three to 400 uh, watt range. Uh, there's a number of different power states. Uh, we've got some videos up on our YouTube channel where you can, you can see uh, us talking a little bit about the power states and power management features and how you can optimize your power for the best experience. But I would remind uh, viewers that power really depends on what you're doing with it. If you're playing an esports title, it's not going to suck, suck a lot of juice. If you're playing a, a really intensive AAA title or you're doing VR, then that's, that's going to definitely suck more. HBCC, our high bandwidth uh, uh, cache controller, a high bandwidth cache, includes eight gigs of uh, HBM2 memory. And, um, and this, um, you, you know, this is something, this is technology that really is plucked from you know, $9,000 graphics cards that today live only in the, um, uh, in, the, in the compute space. So this is gonna give developers uh, really a chance to build really uh, big worlds with you know, lots of textures that run really fast. Another technology is FP16. This is FP16, uh, which we call Rapid Pack Math. It's, it's entry into the enthusiast class gaming space. And this means that developers can render scenes that maybe don't require full precision, but look the same uh, in half precision, therefore uh, doubling the effective speed of certain effects. And that will create an overall increase in performance. The single card, um, 56, is 399. The Vega 64 single card is 499. The Vega 64 bundle, which includes a Ryzen 7 processor, $100 off, a Ryzen 7 processor and X370 motherboard bundle, $200 off an amazing Samsung uh, ultra-wide FreeSync monitor, and two great games, Prey and Wolfenstein. Um, you get all of that for an extra 100 bucks. For $599, you get Vega, those discounts, and those two games. And then if you want the, the ultimate, there's the liquid-cooled package, which includes our liquid-cooled edition, silver shroud, uh, the bundle I, and the bundle I just talked about for 699.